something for us to get to this next level of change right and for us to and i want to give you this word because i want to prepare you for the harvest we got to we got to bypass the trust issues. We got to get delivered from the trust issues. We have to get delivered from the trust issues. And this is why I'm I'm giving you this word because, you know, um for those of you that are like subscribed here and and you visit here, then you know that I am moving, right? And so and I'm going to tell you how God ministered this to me. So I'm moving. It's the end of the school year. And so my children are wanting to like do all these activities and I don't necessarily want them to, right? Particularly with my oldest daughter, I don't like the people that she hangs around. And so God has had to minister truth to me, right? Like God has had to be like, listen, it's okay. I got her. Like I got her, right? Trust me in this thing. Trust me. And I really didn't realize how much I was really trying to hold on and be in control myself. Like I really was trying to exert control myself and it became a situation where I was really wrestling with God and didn't know it like I didn't know it and one of the things that the Lord ministered to me is how I was raised so similar to what I'm doing right like my mom didn't let me do anything and when I say she didn't let me do anything y'all I'm so I'm like I never in my whole life in high school was allowed to go have a sleepover at a friend's house um when i actually like left home and got my own place i snuck out like i had my friends while my mom was at work i was like in my early 20s living with my mom my mom would not let me learn how to drive i had to sneak and get, get uh and pay for like driving school on my own i literally and it's only in atlanta um, I literally got my driver's license with four hours of driving school. Like, it's funny to think about it. But, yeah, like, she – and, I, you know, I really feel like a lot of it was just – my mom just, uh, unfortunately, is – she just operates in a lot of fear, right? And she – like, her, her marriage with my dad, it just did a number on her. And so she just wanted to hold me really close, I believe, too. But – um and so I really thought that I was working to be opposite that. But particularly with my oldest daughter, the enemy was attacking me a lot because I've said it before, I don't like her friends, right? Like, I don't like her friends. And, like, God had to tell me, like, you can trust me. You can trust me, right? Like, God was literally, like, prying my hands off of her. Like, I got it. She's safe. And it was, it was... I didn't even realize, I didn't even realize, and I have a word that I I haven't released it yet, but this weekend she went somewhere that I didn't want her to go and the enemy literally bombarded me the whole day with thoughts that something horrible had happened to her because she knew I didn't want her to be at this particular place. And so she was, she was being 16 and, um, when she came home, God was like, look, look at all that, all that time, all that time, like literally. And I'm saying that even though I'm talking in the capacity of my kid, right? I want you to get it how we have such trust issues, right? Like we have trust issues. And again, God started to minister to me the story of the children of Israel, right? And they had such extreme trust issues. Like they had been... Uh, we already know, right? Like y'all know how they were treated for 400 years. And then here comes Moses and everything was the end of the world. Every plague that came, this is going to be the one that kills us. When they got to the Red Sea, this is, you want us to die here. When they got, they went and camped out in the promised land for 40 days and 40 nights came, still don't want to occupy it because we're going to die. And so literally, right? Literally, this is what God said. Okay, so this is where you want to stay like you're so sure you're gonna die that i don't have your back okay then i'm gonna kill you this is god and moses says god no, wait 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 no you can't kill them <laughs> you you can't kill come on god and god's like okay well i'm not gonna kill them but i'm gonna like kill off this whole generation 40 years will do away with this whole generation and they'll die in this in this stuck place and so for me for me right God had to minister to me, right? Like, I, because this is the thing about trust issues, right? It'll try to isolate you 
to make you think that it's really about a person and a relationship, but it's really just you trusting God. It's you trusting God that, listen, number one, you have done this thing for me. You've done this thing for me. I'm not going to be hurt in this thing. Nothing bad is going to happen here. That's what you're trusting God with. Like, we want the blessing, but God is like, I'm trying to hand it to you. And you're like, oh, but what? Like, we have no trust. Like, we have no trust, right? Like, like, and, and the world, the world does a really great job of sensationalizing every evil, wicked thing that happens, right? Not just with kids, right? But all day long. All day long on social media, on Facebook, all of it. Like, we are bombarded with, and, and some of us are guilty of sharing those things because we're thinking we're bringing about awareness. No, you're perpetuating fear. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. It really is. And God had to talk to me, though, about trust issues, like trust issues over. We have to be delivered from trust issues. We have to be delivered. God is like, what's going to happen when they are, are teenagers, right? Like, well, not teenagers, but I mean, like, what's going to happen when they have to, like, leave the nest? What, are you going to spend all your time in the prayer closet begging, praying? that nothing ever happens or are you going to trust that they are going to live this blessed life that you've been preaching to strangers on the on the internet hello i was like "Ooh, come on come on holy spirit with a quick diss like to me <laughs> like i was like oh god you you hit below the belt on that one but it's the truth it's the i thought you said life goes well then guess what let let your daughter go to the park she'll be okay she'll be okay it ain't a demon in hell that could touch her. She'll be okay. And I'm like, ooh. Ooh. And, and this is the thing, right? Because it, it was between me and God. Like, this thing is between me and God, right? Like, and that that's... Let me tell you something. When God is really trying to get you to trust him, right? It ain't gonna... It, it wasn't easy for the children of Israel. Like, you gotta understand. Like, we came from 400 years of being done wrong, but still, we got to trust God. We got to trust because if not, the enemy is going to keep you in a cycle of always having you look over your shoulder. You want the marriage restored, but just as soon as he comes, listen, who got time to be checking everything that you do? Who got time to be watching everything that you do? Who got time to be in somebody's phone? Not no grown woman, not no grown man. No, we got to get healed from this thing. We got to get healed from this thing. And I'm telling you, the devil don't have no new tricks. People be like, new level, new devil, where? Where he knew at? Just like these scammers. First of all, this is how stupid the devil is. Let me just say this. You would think at this point, they would come with, with something new. But they still hit people with that orphanage crap. Like, at this point, bruh, get something new. Get something new. The devil has no creative power. You don't, you, 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 you got my name. You got my picture, but you don't even speak in my language. I don't talk like that. You don't even do enough work to be like, okay, let's see how she comes across. No, you just say, hey, beloved, I have an orphanage. This is yielded. Nobody, anybody that's been here more than a couple of times, no, psh, goodbye. That's not her. If you would have hit me with some emojis, some yes, some come on here, maybe I would have bought it, but that's not Romania. See, that's the essence. When we talk about when we talk about the story of the prodigal, I I preach this right. The prodigal knew the character of home. He was like, listen, my he knew the character of home. My people know the character of home. They know the character of home. No. That's not Romania right there. That's not Romania. 19 months later, they they know the character of home. But the devil don't have no new tricks. You sitting up here and you want a whole marriage. You want a whole marriage. And you can't even have a solid friendship with somebody because you've been hurt so many times. Hmm? Hello? Maybe that's just... Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Like, okay, and I'm talking about, like, literally, God ministered this thing to me. You got to be delivered. You got to be, because where I'm taking you, right, these kids about to be out here living a whole life, and you can't be somewhere watching every. You got to trust me. And listen, 
that trust thing starts with something that's personal. These my babies. God is like, but listen, they my babies. You my baby. And I'm like, ooh, thank you, Jesus. They, we got to be delivered from this thing. You want a marriage and still hung up over the stuff your mom and daddy did. No. Can't trust nobody. You understand what I'm saying? People are already out here knowing that they should be participating and tithing, but they, they're like, okay, well, I don't know. And now here come the devil perpetuating scammers? That's ridiculous. Like, but listen, <laughs> you... I'm telling you, in the story of the prodigal, he knew the character of home. He knew the character of home, right? Let me tell you something else that God told me when it comes to... And so, in saying that about my kid, right? God is like, you you pray over her. She covered under the blood. You spoke peace over her. You spoke grace over She okay. She ain't going out here any old kind of way. And you can trust me in that. Like, like this is this is me and God having a... This is not you just hoping for the best, right? Me and you have talked about this thing. I've given you a word about this thing. You can trust me on this. It's so... Like, you got to trust God in that thing. You got to trust God in that thing. Listen, come out your prayer closet laboring over that thing and trust God that God got that thing for you. God got that thing for you. God is like, you spent all day feeling some type of way this past weekend when you really should have been packing because you're moving. Remember? You're moving. Mm -mm -mm. I was like, wow. Wow. Listen, no same. Yeah, okay, and for the people that's not married, you want something new. Them same trust issues hovering right there. Ooh, there, look. He ain't text back. She ain't called. Don't want you. So, and now the world has given us so much access to people's lives all up on Facebook, all up on your Instagram, checking the comments. Mm-hmm. Oh, who this is. Okay. Why you like her comment? Okay, let me go to her page. Now you 10 people deep and don't even know how to get back to the person page. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, though. Like, seriously. You you want you you want that supernatural wealth. Let somebody come up with to, and try to give you some money. Mm, what's up with this? Are these bills fake? Like I had somebody literally in the comments before say that she was praying for like I had released a word called strange money and she went outside and saw a dollar bill and was like, uh, does anybody? It was a dollar bill, right? But that's how we be like, is, what is this? Is this like a, am I, you know what I'm saying? Like trust issues. You think that, you think that those trust issues ain't like lurking, following you? Yeah. Don't tell nobody. Listen, the word is very clear. If God be for me, who, what, when, where, how can be against me? I can't live my life not letting my children do anything because I think that everybody is a witch or a warlock because I have authority over them and that's what I do. You can't have a marriage when trust issues around your childhood are still lurking. You can't be promoted when you still got trust issues concerning people on your job. You can't, you can't receive supernatural wealth when you don't want to honor anybody with, with your money because, nah, I got trust issues. Like, no, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Like, we have to be delivered from trust issues. Let me tell you something. When God started to talk to me about promotion, this I love the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego because let me tell you what they said, right? They said, we about to walk in this fire and we might die here, but we still ain't going to bow down to your idols. I'm not bowing down to trust issues. I'm not. I'm not about to be praying all day long for discernment concerning this person. That, no, no, no. I'm about to live. I'm about to live. If you're not for me, you won't last. You won't be here. No. Do you, I hope I'm making sense to somebody. I hope somebody is getting some breakthrough with trust issues right now. That's what's holding you back. That's why your harvest ain't here. Trust issues. 
trust issues. What's what's that parable about the talent? The person had one talent and you you hovering, you keeping it. The other people they invested it. They like, gosh, that would have been a good scripture to reference. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit, for dropping it now when I don't know it by memory. But go read it because I'm gonna read it after this. Cause but that's holding on to that one. That's some of y'all. That's some of y'all. So when the marriage gets restored, y'all gonna be locked up in the house all day. I mean that would be fun for a little while, but y'all ain't gonna never go nowhere because you know. He might see somebody cute. She might see somebody cute. I'm just trying to tell you. Can't form friendships. Can't get promoted. Every single thing the enemy is trying to attack us with. No. In the name of Jesus, we are delivered from trust issues. We are delivered from trust issues. We are delivered from not letting things. Listen. The prodigal. The father was like, when the prodigal son said, I want out, bye, adios, because I, I guarantee you, you'll be back. Because let me tell you something, you're going to hit a place of frustration. The word prodigal in and of itself describes irresponsible, reckless. You, you think you're about to cut prematurely, just get all the money and you're going to go out here and thrive? Oh, you're going to hit a place and you'll be back. And because of who I am, I will welcome you back. I will welcome you back. That's how that, listen, that's our father. That's our father. Like, I can't even bless you because you literally don't trust nothing and nobody. But want a man. Okay. Oh, help me, Jesus. I'll be trying to keep it like, you know. Let's get a wish for y'all, but you know, sometimes I just gotta make it plain. I just gotta make it plain. Like, y'all know, y'all got that, y'all got that, that list with all these attributes y'all want in a significant other, and you could not handle somebody looking like that. You would, you would literally be like oh my gosh oh everybody in the world coming forward my boo everybody i'm telling you in the name of jesus we are delivered from trust issues it is holding us up it is holding us up do you understand it is holding us up there is something in your life right now that is right now being held up because you got trust issues. And I'm, so you got to tell the Lord, I'm going to let you be God. I'm going to let you be God. I'm, I'm going to let you be God. I'm not about to sit somewhere like a hand on an egg protecting us. What kind of life is that? No, I'm going to let you be God. Every time. Like the children of Israel wanted so badly to go from Canaan from Egypt to Canaan, from Egypt to Canaan, and the whole way there, they looking over their shoulder, even though, even though, look at this, God not only used the Red Sea to get them through, but he killed the opposition. Won't the blood do it, but we still looking over our shoulder. Yet the Bible promises us that we overcome who? The accuser by the blood of the lamb. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Listen. I remember, I'm going to say this, I'm going to be gone. This is so funny. I remember, and I put it on Facebook, um, when my daughter first started high school, and I was like, <laughs> I was, y'all, when I tell y'all I'm extra, I remember, like, her getting out the car, right? And this, this me, the, the same mom, right? Have y'all seen the memes? Well, maybe y'all haven't. Anyway, but, like, I'm the mom that's always praying over them and whatever. So, she's getting out the car. First day of high school, true story. She's getting out the car, and I was like, remember, you're covered under the blood of Jesus. <laughs> Everybody's looking. And she texts me, no, you don't say goodbye. You don't say have a great first day. You say, and I was like, and I meant it. Y'all, I really, I was like, remember, you're covered, like, okay. God was like, so I don't know what you're worried for, because everybody knows she covered. I was like, yeah, you're right. I did go ahead and solidify. You better cover that thing under the blood of Jesus and keep it moving. Whatever that thing is, the enemy trying to scare you with, you better say, you can't, you can't spook me in my marriage. You can't spook me in no friendship. You can't spook me in my giving. It's covered under the blood. 
Okay, listen, because we know the nature of home. The nature of home is our relationship with God. Listen, Joshua 1 and 5 is an activation in my life. God said no one will be able to stand up against me all the days of my life. That's what he said. As he was with Moses and Joshua, so shall he be with me. Okay. Okay. Now go, now go be blessed. Go live blessed. Life goes well for you. God is like, you out here preaching a whole life goes well message to over 3,500 people, but your baby can't go to the park. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it was like a, it was like a throat chop. I was like, Ooh, that's Ooh, Ooh, Lord. Okay. Life goes well for my kids. Life goes well for y'all, right? We listen, we got to live blessed. Ain't nobody got time to hold on to that one little talent. Go ahead and sew that thing. You all right. Ain't no scammers. Ain't no orphanage. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Because I'm not trying to make light of the scammers, but they stupid. Nobody believes the orphanage. I don't even want to give them no idea. But think of something else. Because the orphanage thing is not flying at this point. I don't, I don't know. Like, okay. Anyway. Be delivered from trust issues so God can bless you with your marriage. So God can bless you in your money. So God can bless you like wherever you need to be blessed. Okay? Go ahead and decree that you are delivered from trust issues because we don't have time for that. Life goes well for you.